Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Doing well. How are you? How are you? Good. I want to say thank you for making one of the creepiest movies I've seen in quite some time. One of my Funkos fell off in the middle of my movie, and yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys for crafting a great atmosphere there. <laughs> now, thank you. Now, I wanted to start off with both of you. What is your history with horror? Where did it first, you know, first fall in love with it? David, I'll start with you. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you for all the, the kind words on the movie. Um, you know, Justin and I are lifelong friends. We've been friends literally since kindergarten. And we really bonded over, you know, those old school classic horror movies like Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, uh, Friday the 13th, Child's Play. So, you know, wanting to sort of try to venture into storytelling ourselves, it was really like just a natural progression. Um, you know, we're just such big fans of the genre and we love it more than anything. Would you agree, Justin? Is it about the same story for you? It's it's the same story. <laughs> we've we've known each other our whole lives, so it's just like and yeah, this is what we really bonded over. So it's kind of a natural extension of our friendship, really. <laughs> well, that's good. I hope your friendship doesn't have evil genie wishes. So I hope that's just pure fantasy there. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to say now that I know a little bit of your history of you guys being friends, you both worked on this script together. Did you come in? with similar inspirations and ideas or did you know David come in with ideas and Justin was just like I don't I don't know about that. Oh uh, we we actually developed it together. We we developed pretty much all of our stories really closely together. Um, we do have like a back and forth as we're trying to figure out like the best version of it, but it's not normally, you know, one of us bringing a story to the other and being like, I want it this way and I want it this way. You know, we, we try to make everything as collaborative as possible. And um, we also are really good about like bouncing notes and ideas back and forth off of each other. So that allows us to, you know, kind of, I think, come up with the strongest version. Um, and, you know, we just kind of don't stop until we're both content with exactly um, the direction we want to go in. Well, that's refreshing to hear because it feels like a collaborative effort with two directors. I usually am always curious of how that works out. Does David do one scene and Justin's like, no, no, you take this day. I'll take this day. So <laughs> it's interesting to hear. Now, going to the actual film itself, there is some striking cinematography, especially with those pans where every time it would pan, I'm like, oh, what's over there? Was that an idea from you guys or was that something your cinematographer brought to the table as well? David? Uh, well, it was a very collaborative process with our cinematographer, Julian. Um, you know, as you can see, he's super talented and he was able to make a two bedroom apartment look and feel much bigger, much creepier than it actually is in real life. Um, and we just, we did explore a lot, you know, different ideas for how can we keep this visually interesting for, you know, our full runtime. Um, there were some discoveries, you know, on the day, but mostly we did try to, you know, because you have such limited hours on set, we did try to, you know, very thoroughly map things out. But as always, it just helps to really surround yourself with talented people. So we got we got lucky with Julian. Yeah, you could definitely tell there was some great cinematography here. This is also your second time working with a younger actor as your lead, which is always the rule in Hollywood if don't work with children and animals. You seem to be breaking that rule. Do you guys like crafting horror films with a younger lead? Is that something that you find enjoyable or what is the root of that? Because I love both of your films. So to notice that young lead there, though. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, we uh, we love horror that centers on uh, children or children in peril in horror movies is always, I don't, it adds this extra level of tension, I think just intrinsically because it's something that everyone can relate to. Everyone's a child at some point. Everyone has that kind of like naive sense of wonder where they're kind of getting into trouble that they should, probably shouldn't be. And if, if not, then you're also possibly a parent that's looking after a kid and you're just like terrified of that or you're a kid yourself and you're just like I don't want this to happen to me so there's something about it being very relatable that um, I think resonates with so many people and um, it definitely resonates with with David and I and some of our horror, favorite horror movies uh, have kids kind of at the center. So. Well, that that child's play influence makes a lot more sense now as well. So, well, thank you guys so much for speaking with me today. It was a blast. I had such a good time watching Jen. So I hope other people enjoyed as well. Thank you so much for speaking with me.